Hey, baby dolls. Step away from the sell button. I've made an interesting poll, and I'm going to have to put my helicopter hat so we spin it one more time. I made a poll here. Look at it now. It's very new, but check it out. How high does your portfolio need to be in order to market, sell, and walk away? 3x, 5x, 10x, 20x. So most people are stacked in, in 20x. All right, okay. Now, I'm, I'm just I'm trying to help you, okay? It, just, just trying to gather information from everyone out here. Um, so once again, right, so basically I've asked, like, you know, if I today, your whole portfolio, everything, if I put the number here, right, and it did a certain number, what price do you, you just mark it? So you're like, I click out, see us, I'm done. Just to help you think about risk, that's all. And risk exposure, but not having too much risk. Right, having not enough risk. That's what I'm about to speak about. Uh, most people are stacked. Like, they go, whoa, a lot of people are stacked in the 20s. And I'm just here to tell you an example. If you need over a, a 20x or more, just to help you think about these, you, you might not be taking enough risk. You might not. That's all. Just, just think, think about your circumstances. Think about what that means. Um, think about the coins you're in. Your whole portfolio. Now, of course, I, I get it. I get why the number is like that as well. A lot of people, you've had to take the slingshot risk. You're like, well, maybe you don't have heaps of money, and you're like, well, all you've got is like five or ten k, whatever it is, in, in, in relative to each each person's circumstances. You're like, well, I just got to go and say Richard Hart core coins. Some of you guys are in Pepe from the early days. Uh, some of you bought Matic Low. Some of you believe in Cardano. Everyone believes in something, right? Uh, maybe you just believe in everything. Um, in that case, just, just think about it. So if you need more than 20x, I'm here to ask, okay, why do you need more than 20x? You might say, well, Richard Hart coins are down heaps. That's something to think about. That's true. That's true. Richard Hart coins are down heaps. So if PulseX was at day one sack, okay, if PulseX was at day one sack, it would be around three and a half times bigger today. And if I just showed you that number, I'll just give you an example here. If this is that 31 sack, here you go. So there's your, it's about your three and a half X. So a 20 from today would put you around seven X day one sack. But um, that's like oversold in this oversold area. Okay. That's why I'm just, I'm just trying to help you figure this stuff out because we're starting to enter a zone. Like I'm just too scared to buy stuff. After this point is like, okay, throw in lotteries. That's it. You know? Also thinking about this, if if you've invested one year of a living expense unit for yourself, some people, let's say you need like, you know, some people need 50 grand a year to live, they got 50 grand in the market, all right. If something gives you 20X on that, that's 20 years you don't need to work, okay, 20 years. Okay, so just it's something to just grasp in your mind. Um, if you need like a 50x or a 100x to make it for yourself, or you're just like, yeah, click out, I'm out. So yes, um, you might only have like one month in. And that's all right. Everybody has to start from somewhere. I'm just helping you flesh these things out just so you know what people are in and not trying to like shame anybody because they're not all in, but you understand people's circumstances. Some people, they don't mind a 2x man. Freddy Krueger. Hey! The Wall Street guy, yeah, everybody, the Wall Street guy. I think Freddy Krueger's got like a couple of hundred BTC or something. He's got like ten million dollars of his personal net worth in. So he's happy if it gets a t Bitcoin does a ten x in the next eight years. He's really happy. Yeah, he might even have more than ten million. I'm not sure. You know, th these people are different. Everyone has different circumstances. I'm just showing you the spectrum of everyone out here, and you might need two cycles. So if you need, if you've only got one month in. Or one a month of living expenses put in. So let's let's say people in Australia, the average full time wage might a lot of people earn like a hundred grand ish. I know there's a lot of inflation and stuff. Yeah, people just got like ten grand in. Okay, sweet. They got like one month of living expenses or whatever it is to, for them to live one or two months. Yeah. So you might need two cycles. That's all. But yeah, crypto is also tough because you have to do homework in the next cycle unless you just believe in just say Bitcoin and you have to accept low returns. So even as I check out this poll, it makes me just wonder, okay, everyone needs a 20X. Everyone needs a 20X. I want a big fat 20X. 
you know, have a moment, pause. Is, are we saying 10 ain't enough? Are we saying that? Or, because there's no right answer with these. The market's going to do what, it, what it's going to do. I'm just trying to think about, you know, not getting trapped with greed and euphoria. Are we asking for too much? You know, I, I've shown you that chart, right, of uh, of like, say, the total crypto market cap, which I'll bring up now. If you look at the chart, it's around 2.3 trillion. Okay, so what I'll do is like, even if you have the range here, like if crypto grows to around four to five, that's a 2.3x, friends. And if it goes to 10 trillion, that's around like a five. You see that number around two to five? Let's take something in between. Let's just use three and a half for the whole industry, okay? If the whole industry does that whole size does three and a half, a big winner, maybe Ethereum does like a six. Maybe altcoins do like a nine because that's 50% on whatever ETH does. That's the average. That's what the average is. Like, so just, just th think about those numbers. Is anything more than a 20? That's like a full standard deviation, a double above it. it it's something just to grasp in your mind. Uh, I want you to just think about your risk exposure. And you know what? The best portfolio is the one that helps you sleep at night. So yes, there's no like tick you can do and say, well, you now accepted your path into retirement or whatever. There isn't anything like that. And um, you, you have to align yourself mentally with firstly the crowd because there's going to be a momentum push. But then thinking about, okay, what's greed going to look like? Is greed anything above a 20 times your money? Is greed even five times your money? You can pretty much gather from here, right? No one's selling on a 5X, man. Like, no one. Does that mean it's a weak point? We'll see. You never know, man. Like, th maybe this poll's unlocked. Maybe maybe there's a lot of poll shame people watching, friends. Maybe no one's selling on a 3 to 5X. Maybe the next... That's actually a 3 to 5X here. Maybe the next G zone is actually here. See how it says no one's... No one's getting out there. Yeah, there's going to be Jeets that get out there. They get out. No one's getting out here. Okay. And of one last thing I'd like to throw in. There will be coins that go further than you and I think can go. Market caps will be blown through the roof. Numbers will be squeezed. Shorts will be squeezed. Bears will be squeezed. People will be squeezed on the sidelines. Things will overtake the narrative. And there'll be all these things happening. If you are lucky enough or blessed enough, to own one of those coins, try not to market sell everything in one go. Please don't do it. Like how many times I've shown you examples, there are Jeets, they've bought coins and they've sold too early. And like there's one guy, I might have to make like another full video about it. One guy bought a coin, friends. He put in, um, he put in like $400 or something. He sold for it 2X. It's just, just absolute, what you, you're, I don't even have words for you. Just you are disgusting. Okay, you are abs. He put in four hundred bucks. By the way, this guy we saw it was posted on Twitter. He lost nine times. He did nine losing trades in a row. He was so desperate to get a winning trade. He put four hundred bucks in. Takes out his shitty little disgusting Jeep four hundred bucks two X. It would now be worth eight million dollars today. Okay. And it happened in like eight days, by the way, if he just held for eight days. So what do you what do you do to mitigate that? Well, just take my most simple, basic prop, uh, solution. Just sell half. That's it. Sell half and just that's it. You know, if he sold half, he would have $4 million sitting in there today. Just eight days later, 4 million bucks of one of the Soilana coins. There was also the story of that Peppy guy. Remember that Peppy guy? He he woke up. He saw he had like 1.2 million in his wallet, and then he paper hand cheated it out. Now he put in like 200 bucks. So he made a lot, right? But he just lo he'd lost money for like 12 months in a row. He was down 28 grand. So the fact he woke up to 1.2 million, but he slipped it down like 50 percent. So he only he walked out with like 800k. But if he just waited, I think five days later, he would have six million. If he held all the Peppy today, it's worth 16 million. Once again. Just if he sold just half and let the rest go, that guy would have his 400 grand now plus 8 million. 
that guy in Soilana that from the past eight days, yeah, he would have an extra four million. You got it? So that's that's pretty much it. Just sell half. Sell half, pocket it for yourself. Friends, there's gonna be musical chairs, Ponzi games, we're gonna play it to bull market. Okay, I don't care if it goes to zero, but uh yeah, if you're on site a certain amount, just just sell half. Okay, this they're gonna blow your mind with what things can do. Not everything is gonna blow your mind, but just yeah, I'm helping flesh you out because I want you to get better uh, just to help yourself with this because we're waiting four years for this moment. If you screw it up, you can't rewind time. You've got to wait for the next cycle. Now, you know, look at, look, also, by the way, look at this, see how, tw see this 20X? I want to share this insight as well. Most people need a 20X. It's showing you how aggressive on the risk scale everybody is willing to take to make it because they, they need a 20 if you only needed like a 50% to retire, you'd probably be in Bitcoin right now. You wouldn't touch anything else. Mm -hmm. So that is something to think about. Most people, if they need 20 X's, so I'm seeing right now that that's, man, we should be looking, licking our lips. Cause if, if everyone here needs 20 X, my gosh, what's going to happen to all the new people coming in? How, how hard are they going to FOMO into old coins and just thrash everything up? That's, that's the potential we're looking for, okay? So you protect yourself, you sell half. When you're in doubt, when you're in doubt, in 2025, because it hasn't started yet, 2025, you take profit into stable coins, pay tax man, and just take, take out your cash. Everything after that point, by the way, carries risk. So you, nobody can be held responsible for this, but the actual game after that is if you want the lowest risk, you stack Bitcoin. If you want a bit more risk on top of that, you stack Ethereum. If you want more risk on that, you stack a core coin or a series of core coins that you think are not done with their move yet. You just got to remember you are playing the rehypothecation strategy. And yeah, maybe Richard Hart pumps Pulse Chain at the very end. Maybe he doesn't. Then you're caught for another four years. You just you have to accept that. Okay, that's how everybody gets destroyed by the end, by the way. Money is made everywhere, except at the very end, people keep playing in the casino. Okay, so I'm just, just helping prepare you for this moment. Luckily for you, though, you're in early enough. You don't need to worry about that. But people do. See, if everyone needs a 20x, man, here's the thing, man. Everyone, if everyone needs a freaking 20x, you're basically telling me, like, there's 70% people here plus. If you're up 18x, you're like, no, nah, I'm not walking away. No, walking away. That's what I'm trying to help you think about, man. Um, Like, there's going to be people. They're going to have $800,000 at the top. I'm not going to get out. Why? It's not round number 1 million. Then it's going to drop 90%. You see, I'm just trying to help you avoid that. And you can avoid that by actually buying more now. So you hit your target earlier. Don't forget he loves you. Like, subscribe, catch you in the next one.